Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over how to gain more experience as a loan officer. So if you're new to the business, if you just came in and you're saying to yourself, hey, I want to know more about the business. I wanna be more knowledgeable so I can help my clients more, deliver better service, help my partners more. This video is for you, so make sure you stay to the end of this video. I'm gonna go over eight things that will help you be a more knowledgeable loan officer. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, number one is to take full responsibility for your knowledge, your education, and your training. And that's why you're watching this video, because you're taking responsibility for those things. And that's what you should be doing, because that's what's gonna get you to what you want. When you take full responsibility of an area, that's when you can have control over that area. That's one thing that I learned from my mentor. So what I want you guys to do here is say to yourself, hey, if it is to be, it's up to me. Take full responsibility and that's gonna help you become a more knowledgeable loan officer. And what I mean by that is don't go blaming other people. Don't go blaming the market. Don't go blaming your company. Don't go blaming your coworkers. Don't go blaming the manager. Don't go blaming the programs. I need you to take full responsibility here. And I know this can sound super simple, super obvious, but it's really important. And the reason I put it here is because if you don't have this in, in your business, if you don't have this as a mindset, then the next seven things that I'm going to go over, you're not going to do. So that's why I put this here. It's super important. Take full responsibility. If it is to be, it's up to you. Number two is to be in the environment. When I just started as a loan officer, I would come into my office every single day from 8 a.m. all the way to like 7 or 8 p.m. I would be here at the office. And how that would help me become a more knowledgeable loan officer is I would be able to ask questions, right? My coworkers were here, my manager was here. So I would ask them questions and I would also listen in on their conversations with their clients, their partners. When they would have conversations about their escrows, I would listen in on all those things. And so now I know about those things, right? Maybe they're talking about a certain guideline. Maybe they're talking about a certain thing that came up during the escrow. I would listen in on that conversation. And whenever that came up in the future for me, I would know what the guideline was. I would know what the step was. I would know what to do because I listened in. I learned from someone else. Right, and that's what you wanna do in this business or in any business. You wanna learn from other people as opposed to making the mistake yourself. So step number two is to immerse yourself in the environment, right? If you're hanging out with professional piano players, if you're hanging out with astronauts for long enough, you're gonna know how to be an astronaut or you're gonna become an astronaut. You're gonna know how to play the piano if you hang out with those people for long enough or if you're in that environment. So if you're just starting out or if you wanna become more knowledgeable, immerse yourself in that environment. Number three is to find a company with people that are willing and able to help you. Now, I don't want you guys to think, hey, my company doesn't help me. I'm never going to succeed as a loan officer. Remember what we went over in step one. If it is to be, it's up to me. Not every company is going to help you out. Not every, you know, coworker is going to help you out. Not every manager is going to help you out. That's okay. If it is to be, it's up to me. But what I want to go over in this point is it's better if they do, right? That's all I'm saying. It's not a make or break point if they don't it's up to you. But it's better if you have a company that does offer these things. If you have coworkers that do help you out. If you have a manager that does help you out. So look for these things if you haven't already joined a company, right? Let's say you're looking for companies right now. Make this your priority. Make this one of your priorities, one of your top lists. You know, a lot of people when they're looking for companies, they're looking for the paycheck. They're looking for the commission percentage. I'm not looking for those things. That's not what I was looking for. I'm looking for, hey, where can I go? where I'm going to be trained, I'm going to learn, I'm going to grow, I'm going to have opportunity. That's what I look for. I'm not looking for pay chips. I'm not looking for dollar signs. You know, because if you look for those things, if that's the only thing you're looking for, you're going to land yourself in a company that's not going to have opportunity. So look for the opportunity. Look for a company, if you haven't already joined one, that has people that are willing and able to help you out. I also made a video on how to find the perfect mortgage company to work for. I'll link it right there. But yeah, that's going to be step number three or tip number three is to find a company that has people that are willing and able to help you. Number four is to ask a lot of questions and don't feel bad for asking questions. Never ever feel bad for asking questions. You know, I was watching one of my older videos and I say, hey, ask more so you can know more so you can help more. And I love that because if you don't ask, then you won't know. And if you don't know, you can't do your job. And if you can't do your job, you can't help the client. You can't help your partners. So it's super important that you know and the only way to know is to ask, right? To be curious. So make sure that you're constantly asking questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions and don't feel bad. Ask a thousand questions the first week. Ask them to everybody. Hey, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's better? What's this? What's that? 
ask everybody questions. So don't feel bad about it, right? Because let me tell you something, you're gonna feel worse not being able to help a client and not be able to do your job. That's gonna make you feel worse than asking someone a simple question. Trust me, you'll find that out very soon. So ask the questions, get the knowledge, get the information. Number five is to call people. And it's something that I just started doing. It kind of ties into the last one about asking questions, but it's a big, big difference. And that's why I separated it right here because we can become too reliant on text messages, on emails. So what I want you guys to do is call up your processors, call up the underwriters, call up your bank, call up your company, call up the title agent, call up the escrow agent, call up all those parties and have conversations with them during the process. Have conversations and you'll learn something new. Call them and ask them questions and you'll learn more than if you text them with the question. Then if you just email them a question, call them, pick up the phone and call them. This is something I just started doing and it made a huge difference in my last transaction. I started calling the processor every single, I would call the processor every single day. I would call the underwriter every single day. I would call the bank every single day. I would call the escrow company almost every single day. Hey, how's it going, what we're doing? You know, what's up, how's it going? And I promise you, you're gonna learn more about title, you're gonna learn more about escrow, you're gonna learn more about this, that. So call people. Don't become reliant on the email. Don't become you know, afraid to call people. You know, just call them up, they're people too, right? You're always communicating to an individual. Don't feel I'm communicating to a bank. No, the bank's got individuals and you're communicating to those individuals, you know? So don't be afraid. You're not communicating to escrow. You're communicating to a person that sits in a desk at escrow. So don't be afraid. Right? Don't be intimidated. Call those people, have conversations with them, ask questions. It's gonna help you out a great deal and you're gonna learn things. What I like about this is you're gonna learn things that you didn't even ask for. When I would have conversations with the escrow company, they taught me things and I didn't even ask about them. They just brought them up and I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Right? So call people up, it's gonna help you get a great deal in your business. Don't be afraid to call people, call them and it's also gonna help you develop stronger relationships with those people, which is what you want. This is a relationship business. You're gonna have a better relationship with the escrow agent, a better relationship with the title person, a better relationship with your processor, a better relationship with the underwriter. All those things help you in your business a great deal. Just wanna let you guys know that I have partnered up with Learn Mortgage and CompuCram if you guys are interested in getting your loan officer license. So I have a video right here going over exactly how to get the license and they also offer discount codes for you guys that are interested and part of the Enrique and Greatness family. So the links are right here. This is for Learn Mortgage. And then the second code for CompuCram, which is a test prep tool is gonna be right here. Make sure you check them out. All right, number six is reading news articles every single morning. And I'm not talking about the negative ones. I'm talking about the ones that go over statistics, market, the economy, stocks, the Fed, rates, real estate. You need to read all these things. I'm not talking about the negative ones. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna help you stay up to date, which is a big deal. And then number two is gonna help you become more knowledgeable about the space of real estate and mortgages. You know, the other day I was reading an article about employment, the statistics about employment and that percentage rate because I learned that that affects the Fed and the Fed affects the rates and this affects that. And I was like, okay, I gotta learn about employment now, right? And you need to know these things. So when you're having consultations, when you're talking to clients, when you're talking to realtors and they say, hey, why are rates like this? You're gonna say, bam, 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 according to rates from last month, bam, bam, bam. That's gonna help you become a better loan officer. So it's something that I started doing in my business and I promise you it's gonna amaze your clients it's gonna amaze your realtors. When you're having conversations with them, and because you're super up to date, because you're gonna be reading these things for 15 to 30 minutes every single day, you're gonna be like, hey, this statistic came out this month, last month's statistics are these, hey, 30% of this, hey, 50% of that, hey, this, X, Y, Z, they're gonna be like, whoa. I promise you I did it, and it amazes them, it amazes the client, and it puts you on a higher level of credibility, a higher level of service. So that's what you wanna do. Now when it comes to what websites, I would recommend the Wall Street Journal, also anywhere that's got statistics. So I know Fred has statistics, if you can keep up with those. You know, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, anything with statistics and business. I know Barron's is also a great magazine. So study those things, anything that's not negative, right? I'm not saying to go over the negative stuff. I'm saying, hey, go over the stuff that's about your market, that involves your market, your industry, which is real estate, mortgages, the economy. So go over those things and I promise you to help you a great deal and becoming a more professional, up-to-date, credible, experienced loan officer. All right, number seven are homebuyer workshops or investment property workshops. So hosting these things, you wanna host them. 
you want to teach them because when you're teaching something, you're able to understand it on a deeper level. And that's why I love these. You know, when I just started doing this as a new loan officer, it helped my conversations with my client. It helped my conversations with my realtors because I was presenting these things so much, you know, a couple of times a week that I understood mortgages better. You know, I understood how to structure loans better. And that's going to help you in your conversations because now you're more experienced, now you're more knowledgeable, right? When you're more experienced, when you know something more, when you're more knowledgeable, you can explain it better. It's when you don't know something that you can't explain it. And when you're teaching something, you know it better, right? So what I want you guys to do here is start hosting these homebuyer workshops or investment property workshops. And if you guys want a template, I have one on my website for the homebuyer workshop and I'm also gonna be creating one for investment properties. So this can help you out a great deal at becoming a more experienced loan officer. Because like I said in the beginning, you don't really know how to structure loans, how they work. And in doing these presentations, you're gonna know the tips and tricks, you're gonna know how to problem solve, and then you're gonna know how to structure. So super, super important. I highly recommend this if you're a new loan officer. And number eight, print and read your guidelines. Yes, I said print and read your guidelines. Don't just have them on your computer, print them out and read them for about 15 minutes to two hours a day, whatever you want. You know, I usually do 15 to 30 minutes. If you wanna do two hours, that's up to you. But I recommend, you know, 15 to 30 minutes every single day. Print out the basics, the conventional, the FHA, and the VA. Print out the basics and read them a little bit every single day. I'm not saying do a whole crash course, read them all the way through, no. Reading a little bit every single day and don't memorize them. I'm not saying memorize them, just read them through read them through. This is also going to help you when you're talking to clients because now you're going to feel more experienced, right? Maybe you just read one page, but now you feel more experienced because now you feel more responsible, right? When you're educating yourself, that's being responsible. That's a responsibility, right? So when you do that, you're just going to feel more responsible. You're going to be more confident when you're talking to realtors, talking to clients. Even if you just read one page of a guideline, Maybe you haven't read the whole thing, but you just read one page. It's going to make a big difference in your business because it's going to boost your confidence because you're being responsible. So what I want you guys to do here is read your guidelines a little bit. Not, I'm not saying everything. Print them out for FHA. Print them four in one page because FHA has a lot of guidelines. So try to have them where it's four pages in one page when you print them out. And yeah, just read them a little bit. Don't memorize them. Highlight the good points. And this is also going to help you when you're making social media content right? If you're reading guidelines, you got a lot of content right there, right? Maybe it's just one guideline, make a whole post on that. As opposed to other people where I see them making super complicated posts, just pick one guideline. You know, that's what I do with mine. I just pick one guideline that I find exciting, interesting, and I post it on social media. I'm not posting boring guidelines on social media. I'm posting the interesting ones, the cool ones. Like I did one the other day on credit cards, on the fact that you can use your points for down payment. And I'll post it right here so you guys can see it. But yeah, interesting ones, it helps you out with your social media, it helps boost your confidence, and it helps you become a more knowledgeable loan officer. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed this content, leave a big thumbs up, comment down below what you guys thought, and subscribe for more content just like this. I make content on entrepreneurship, life improvement, and loan officer training. Thanks again so much for your time. I appreciate you guys. See you in the next one and be great.